A major research project near Manaus, Brazil, was launched to study small habitat fragments that are created by logging sections of the rainforest. Before the logging, the tropical evergreen forest probably looked something like this. Landowners agreed to preserve fragments of certain sizes and configurations. Biologists counted the species in the future fragments while the areas were still part of the continuous forest. Soon after the surrounding forest was cut and converted to pasture, species began to disappear from isolated fragments. The first species to be eliminated were monkeys that travel over large areas. Army ants and the birds that follow army ant swarms also soon disappeared. Small fragments cannot maintain populations of species that require large areas, and they can support only small populations of many of the species that can survive in small fragments. In addition, in a phenomenon known as the edge effect, physical and biological factors outside the fragment influence the life at the edge of the fragments. In this example of a relatively large fragment, roughly 30% of the fragment is influenced by edge effects. Close to the edges of forest fragments, the areas have stronger winds, higher temperatures, lower humidity, and higher light levels than farther inside the forest. Additionally, species from surrounding habitats often colonize the edges of fragments to compete with or prey on the species living there. The smaller the fragment of habitat, the greater the proportion of the fragment that's influenced by the surrounding environment. Tree species adapted to the dark, humid forest interior die at the edge of the fragments, opening the way for the growth of pioneer tree species. Smaller fragments typically show the greatest change in forest composition.